nights and the last thing you want to do is fuss with preparing a complicated meal. That's how I feel, but it doesn't have to be too difficult though. We have Emily Golub, founder of Garnish and Gather here with a quick and healthy recipe for moms on the run. And I think quick is what I'm hearing. Yes, here, so that's what we need to do. Absolutely. So we have a great recipe today that we're going to share with y'all. It is a lemon sage meatballs over um, spaghetti squash with an herb ricotta. Yeah. And this is one of my favorite recipes because I always struggle to put a healthy dinner on the table. And so um, I found a garnish and gather to really help out with that weekly nighttime challenge of how do you get a good, healthy, organic dinner on the table in you know 15 to 20 minutes. Perfect. Okay, now so, get us started with this. And while yeah. you're doing that, tell me really quickly about how uh, garnish and gather works. Absolutely. So we're going to get started with the, um, the meatballs. So we're going to put all the meatball ingredients together. And garnish and gather is such a great service because we prepare locally sourced meal kits. So we're Atlanta's own meal kit company. And we work with all local farms in the area so that you don't have to worry about where your food is coming from. It's all fresh, organic, and really, really healthy. So we've got five dinner options available each week online, and you can order pick out whatever one looks good to you and then we'll deliver it right to your door. Very nice, yes. makes it easy. So this meatball mix that we're making here is a really kind of a traditional meatball mix with your breadcrumbs and your milk, but we're also adding in a little bit of, um, of lemon zest, a little pinch of cayenne, and then my favorite ingredient that really makes these over the top is the sage. Okay. So we're mixing that all together here. And um, I love this pork because this is from River Riverview Farms. Mm -hmm. It's an organic farm in North Georgia, and they do all pasture-raised pork. So you can feel great that this is going to be, you know, a healthy um, and a wholesome meal for your family. Well, I think that appeals to a lot of people, too, just knowing that the food is locally sourced. You know where it's exactly. coming from, you know where it's been, that kind of thing. Exactly. So um, next you just form these into golf ball-sized meatballs and put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going to skip over to the herb dracata. I love this because it's a great alternative to a more traditional cheese topping on pasta. Uh -huh. So if you could go ahead and mix for me, we've got a little bit of time. Okay. So just throw that in with the um, with the ricotta and then the Parmesan cheese. And so it really does come like this. It really does come like You take it like right that. out of the package. And you got it. Okay. Um, and then a little bit of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And then some scallions. Oh, this smells so good. Yeah, and it's such a nice creamy topping. And we're just going to mix that all together. Okay. And then that's going to go on top of our meatballs. Very nice. And while you're working on that, I'm going to do our spaghetti squash. So what I love about spaghetti squash is that it is a great alternative to pasta. And the noodles actually come out, or the squash actually comes out looking like spaghetti. Okay, I've always been intimidated to try spaghetti squash. So is it really this easy? It's I mean, it really seems like it's really this easy. So okay. with this one, we just cut it in half and remove the seeds like a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And then I put this in the microwave for 10 minutes and nice. it was all done. Okay. So you just scrape out the insides like this into a bowl and it's just like spaghetti and it really is a mild flavor so you'll find even the little ones will eat this and not even know the difference. Okay. But of course if you've so got picky healthier. eaters at home mm -hmm. you can always sub in a whole wheat pasta instead. Okay. And then we're just going to add in a little bit of diced tomato with this. And it looks so mix fresh. That all Emily, together. It really it's does. It's super fresh. It really, it's a hearty pasta meal, but without any of the guilt of eating a big yeah, pasta meal. I like that. Perfect. Mix in the sauce, getting that good to go. And yes. now when does this ricotta come so in? So that's going to actually go on oh, fresh this is on our top. Garnish. Okay. Yeah. So you can see here in the finished dish, we've got um, the spaghetti squash tossed with the tomato with the, some meatballs on top and then the herb ricotta dolloped on the very top. Very nice. Okay. How long would you say it takes to get all of this together? This meal is designed to be done in about 20 minutes in the kitchen. That's not bad at all. It's 20 super minutes? fast. I've yeah. waited in fast food lines longer than that. <laughs> Well, we've got some oh, great meals for you all to try out tonight, too, so you're going to get a chance to cook some of these dinners at home, and I think you're going to love it. All the meals are designed to be super fast and simple for the busy weeknight, because we know people don't have a lot of time to sit around and meal plan and prep, yeah. and who wants to spend time in the grocery store? Right, especially so, on weeknights. That's exactly. when it's hard to do. Enjoy the fun cooking ex experience, cook healthy meals, and enjoy eating with yeah, your family. kids will love this. They yeah. really will. I think this is a good recipe for them. Now, tell us where we can go to look up more great recipes and, and learn more about, Absolutely. about the service. Absolutely. Um, you visit us online at Garnish garnishandgather.com. We've got lots of healthy recipes available and new menus coming out each week, so it's a great option. It's time for breakfast now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, thank you so much thank for coming you. today. It looks delicious. Uh, you can find this recipe on our website, fox5.com. Uh, just click on the